Hey, what's up, guys? DC Batman7812 here, and welcome to Game of Thrones Telltale Game Series. Uh, that intro may have been a little loud. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Anyway, so I'm gonna jump straight into this. I've had a little play, so I do have some of the achievements, as you'll see. Yes. Oh shit, I, should, I should, probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Alright. So we're gonna jump straight into episode one. Um, I know who these characters are. Let's get in. Begin episode one. Tyrion Lannister, the Northerners will never forget. Alright. So I know where this is all gonna start. I know what, what a bloodbath this is gonna be. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Okay. For thousands of years, House Forrester have been loyal bannermen to House Stark, and yet you never seen them in TV series. In the darkest reaches of the Wolfswood, they harvest the rare ironwood trees. Now the North has been ripped apart by war, and rival houses seek to claim Forrester ironwood for themselves, and the fate of House Forrester hangs in the balance. Well... The trout, the trout, the trout in the towers, the wolves of the fish, and they all ran away. The trout, he fucked all around the towers, the trout, the trout, the trout. I'm also going to try and talk more, because I tried recording before and it just, you know, I was too silent. The great Jamie Lannister, Kingslayer, both Garrett Tussles, brought to his knees by the men of the North. And set free by the women. You'd think he'd done it himself the way he tells it. Lord Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Alright, let's just clean this. Make sure sword. it's spotless this time. Lord Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. Go on, it's only blood. I know it's only blood, I'll just sit here with a proper said. sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You? You'll never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. And if we're being honest. You are just a squire. Don't, oh, be, an don't ass. be an ass, Bowen. <laughs> Apologies, your lordship. I had Andy, you know. <laughs> Hand him what? Capturing him. He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk he barely made it out of his tent. Next, he'll tell us he caught Tyrion too. <laughs> so what really happened? Someone caught him, I suppose. That's Kenny man here, and they'll say it was them. You captured the Kingslayer. Aye. Well, I had a hand in it. Aye. A hand round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. But not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. Which grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. <laughs> Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. <sighs> All right. Okay. Right. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. The reason why I said right thanks is because... Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach. And House Tully is forever in his debt. They've never seen a field plowed so well. That's the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> Fetch your cup. The night we celebrate. <laughs> to Rob Stark, the King in the North! The, the King, King in the, the North! North! The short-lived King in the North. Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock. And House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the young wolf's army and ride as the vanguard. The gods have favored us. Onward to Casterly Rock! Aye! Death to the Lannisters! Aye! Iron from ice! Aye! Got it. Yes, my lord? I need you. To keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. 
On a night like this, men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question, well, what's to be done with you? It's been on my mind for a while now. With me, my lord? You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? Ooh, what can I please, offer Please, I, I want a sword. I want to make that guy jealous. Let me fight for you, my lord. You've more than proven your ability on the battlefield. No man would question that. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. Your hard work has paid off. Thank you, my lord. I promise. I won't let you down. That I don't doubt. But for now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight, and I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Now oh, go. I'm not, I'm not allowed find to find Roderick if you can. Well, I shit. will, my lord. Thank you. Bloody hell. Empty. Squire! Fetch us more wine! Can you give me a hand? Come on. Uh, I get up to you? Sure. Yeah, no problem. I have been a squire longer than you. So? I outrank you. You should help me. <laughs> you outrank me? I don't think so anymore. Fetch more wine, scrub my armor, clean my boots. Just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, a liar, and an arrogant prick. It could be You'd worse. better watch your tongue, Bowen. It could be much worse. What the fuck do you know about it? Nothing is worse than Norin. See, that's why you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in pig shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. But not by much. Who doesn't love bacon? Ah, pig farmers. <laughs> Come on, All like I'm bacon. saying is, at this rate we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. <laughs> Speak All for I yourself. know, we could be squires for life. Pulling wine around a fucking wedding. Uh, enough wine. I'm sick of listening to your wine. With that attitude, you'll never be more than this. Easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were castled, then I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? Well, that's right over there. The twins, stronghold of House Frey, the Red Wedding. Oh dear. Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing Lord Walders. In a generous mood. Fucking phrase. Nice night for a wedding. Which is definitely why you need your weapons out, for sure, isn't it? It's not often he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. What? What's wrong? Oh, what's, uh, the reins of Castamir, I believe this song is called? Just gotten into you. You're acting rather odd. Uh, we have enough wine. We have enough wine. Then <laughs> take the fucking flagon already. What's wrong with him? Something the matter. Bowen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. Safe, Bowen. <laughs> but what about... What the hell was that about? Slow down, would you? Run, just fucking run. run. Shit, Sherlock. Jesus Christ. Okay, I'll, uh... Not right! Garrett, 
We have to get back. I can't throw the king. Oh, Jesus Christ. Grab a sword. Or not. That'll be too much. Ready, common boys! Sense. Whoa! Shoot that one! Oh, why me? Come on. Where he looks the same, exactly was the one that uh, was um, well, not the one. Look out! My lord. Find a weapon, quickly. Uh, yes, a weapon would do nicely. Slaughter us like the others. Walter Frey says time to run. <laughs> Guard this with your life. Return it to Ironrath where it belongs. There's no time to waste. I'll be damned if I let it fall into the hearts of those traitors. You have to go. I'll do as you command. Welcome to the fucking torch. I will do as you command, my lord. You have served me well. I know I can he count will remember on you. That. I don't think he will. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him. The North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. Future of the house may That's depend well, on I'll it. I'll ask I swear Uncle, that I will, my lord. I'll ask Uncle hey, Duncan. It's those the forest Uncle. Oh, your oh, honor, you must do this for your house. Go! Kill those <laughs> fucking foresters! <laughs> we love <laughs> Sean <Lord laughs> Frey. Is it me or is there a, a, a floating sword? What the fuck? Did anyone else see that? I'm gonna have a replay show of that. Jesus Christ. Oh, here we go. The intro.
This is one thing I like about Game of Thrones. Uh, the good guys don't always win in it. Because uh, usually, like, uh, the good guys always win. But with Game of Thrones, um, uh, that clearly was an example of the bad guys winning. Game of Thrones, Episode 1, Iron from Ice. Okay. Forest of Lands, The King's Road. Right. Now I know what's going to happen next. Um, fucking cruelty on a high level. Pigs. Use WSD to move and the mouse to look around. Okay. Can't really see where I'm going, which is always nice. Blood. Blood. Fresh. Well, that's just great. A dead pig. And there's smoke. I mean, like I said, I already know what's going to happen. His fa his whole family's going to fuck. It. Well, not his whole family, but his father and uh, sister are going to die. That's father's car. Well. Lord Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. Think it may be common, but at least still have his bacon. This was <laughs> <laughs> they're all practically dressed the same. Which one is the Bolton soldier? I know two of them are White Hills. Go along, boy. There's nothing is that for one? you here. <laughs> Father, I said move on. I recognize you. You're a forester squire. Former Stark Bannermen have no claim on land anymore. Or haven't you heard? The Starks are dead. Yes, I know that. Where'd you get that sword? Not None a chance that sword is his. Must have stolen it. Out here by himself. None of your business. Probably a deserter. None of your fucking business. We're gonna feed you to the fucking pigs. Yep, draw the sword, why not? That sword's too big for you, boy. You can barely pick it up. Get off my land! This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new Warden of the North. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Do you want to take a good swing at him? No. I'll have that sword, boy. Come and fucking get it then. Go on. Come get it, you bastard. Oh. Oh, well, that was just pathetic. All right. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. Uh, pitchfork or an axe? I'll take the pitchfork. You really are a pig. F oh, what was that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, fucking hell. Jesus. Is that the best you can do? Oh, 
to him. That's right. <coughs> oh, you bastard! <coughs> Me. I have no quarrel with you. I, I was only following orders. Yeah. Nice try showing mercy no, to my please. family. Fuck you. Uh, Lord Whiteheel will see you hang for this. That much I promise. <laughs> Father? Jesus, look at the Garrett, state of him. You survived. Your, your sister. Oh, she hid. Well, don't tell me she's dead too. I mean, I don't know if she actually does, but she probably does. I tried to stop them. Yeah, definitely. I'll kill the men who did this. We've killed two of them already. Just one more to go. Let's see where we're going now. Iron Wrath, stronghold of House Forester. Nice wallpaper. <laughs> I mean, actually, it's a nice picture and all that. It's but... Garrett! Oh. Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Oh. Garrett! I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the Maester! Meet us in the Great Hall! Quickly! Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. They Did killed my which family. Was which? And no. for what? My sister, she. She was only eight years old. Fucking hell. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Hmm, the blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Yay. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. Don't give a I shit. I can't say I would I'll, have done any I'd different. I'd do it again. You. I'd do it again if I had the chance. If we don't respond with strength, they won't stop until they have everything. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Oh, I've got to do this myself. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, Jesus Christ. Thank God this isn't the medicine in these, these are days. dark days, I fear. To lose the Lord of the House and the Eldest Son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Our house will never fall. By the gods, let's hope you're right. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young, and altogether unprepared to lead. Mm. Right. You gotta start somewhere. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. That's not how it was. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. That's not how it happened. Roderick had already fallen. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house. 
High or low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. Okay, right. Let's take a look. Window. Uh, I can hold shift, can't I? Yeah, right. Which is nice. The Ironwood Grove. Oh, wait, is that it? <laughs> Let's see. A shield. Hmm. An ironwood shield. Hmm. The strongest wood in the known world. Hmm. What kind of wood? <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I just had to take it the mm. dirty way, because why not? No, I didn't even see what he was going to fucking say. Oh well. Oh, pff. For nothing. Unbelievable. Let's see. Uh, tapestry. Let's take a look at this. Asher. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Why was he exiled? I'll probably find out later. Talia and Ethan. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Hmm. Mirror. Mirror. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. What's she doing in King's Landing? Lady Forrester. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a forester myself. Hmm. Ryan. Ryan. Never easy being a fourth-born son. Fourth-born son. Jesus Christ. Lord Forrester, it was an honour to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Gregor the Good, okay, well. Roderick, he was our best warrior by far. Learn more about the Foresters on the menu codex page. Mm-hmm. I may be mistaken. You do seem able to put weight on it. Uh, let's see. Medical supplies. Uh, bucket, look at. Ugh. Jesus Christ. Uh, wait, I can pick these up. Healing herbs. Yeah, I'm gonna pick that up. For sure. This might help. Hmm. Bandages. No comment on that. Uh, talk to the maester when you are finished exploring. Uh, no, you see there? You're limping again. I'm fine. I really? I, I wasn't even fucking moving. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Um. Yeah. Well, Who well, is we the new lord know. of House Forester? Why, Ethan, of course. That long pause. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forrester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third-born son, is challenging. There's still so much he has to learn, yet the very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. Which is rather frightening when you think about it. Nah, it will be fine. What will become of me? What will happen to me now? Excellent question. Hmm. Under normal circumstances, you could join Sir Roiland and his men. Although, given the circumstances of your... circumstances, it becomes a bit tricky, doesn't it? I suppose it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. Lord Forrester mm. promoted me. At the Twins, I... I'm no longer a squire, if that matters. It might, I suppose. But I'll defer to Lord Ethan on this. Uh, why do the White... Why on earth do the White Hills Why do the us? White Hills hate the Foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. 
I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. Uh, the White Hills want more went out ironwood. Mm. The White Hills want Forester ironwood. Ah, they'd take it all if we'd let them, especially now with the Boltons in power, and proceed to clear-cut every last inch of it until there's nothing left, just as they've done before. Just as they've done before? Hmm. Can I see Ethan? Can I see Ethan? Is he here? He is, but I'm afraid he's indisposed at the moment. He prefers not to be disturbed while practicing his loot. Can I leave now? Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrod. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrod, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... Yes, they were flippant. They were slaughtered. They just... Uh... I'm so sorry. Me too. Off to bed now. Hurry on. It looks like broad daylight out there. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Whatever you can recall. He loved his family, my lady. He was very proud of Roderick. Yet he was unable to save him. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. I'm sorry, my lady. Nothing could be done to save him. He was House Forrester's best. Yep, now I've got to cope without him. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told. I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words uh, before give he her the sword. passed? Yeah, because he told me to. Bring if you the can sword remember, back. he asked me to return this to House Forrester. He said this is where it belongs. You avoided her question. What do you mean I avoided her family. question? Thank you, Garrett. I didn't of course, avoid her question, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Against aggression. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. So what? We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. They killed my family. This happened on Forrester land. They killed my family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. But now is not the time for vengeance. It's not now. When? We have to be yeah. smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads, while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett's suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. They deserve to die. All of them. I say we fight. Ha! Listen to your nephew. He speaks sense. With what army? Our best men were killed at the Twins, along with our lord. Then what's to be done? Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. But I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. Fuck I'd have the done Boltons. The same, as any man would. Fuck the Boltons. One of their men killed my family. Aye. You'll say it was justice. They'll say it was murder. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan. Let them the come. The boy has suffered enough. 
Let them come. I don't care. They'd kill you and not think twice about it. It's not safe for you here, Garrett. There's only one place beyond the reach of the Boltons. You're sending him to the wall? The boy's done nothing wrong! Not what? in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. My place is Uncle, here. my place is here. Who will defend the house? You said we need men who can fight. There'd be nothing we could do to protect you. To stay would bring do destruction look like upon us all. I know that's not what you want. I know it's difficult to understand. But you must think of the house. I oh, won't put others things. at risk. Uh. I'll go. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. That settles it then. Unbelievable. So you I can have my horse, the wall. and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. Ah, <sighs> dear. Word up to me. I gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given a chance. I would, and God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. I know you want to stay, but Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the House ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. I'll do what's best. Which often isn't what's easiest, but necessary nonetheless. Oh, I've yeah, been yeah. waiting for the right moment to tell oh, you. Yeah, the North Grove, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where the hell that is. What? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, The North Grove can never be lost. You fulfilled your duty, Sorry. Lord Forrester. You caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. What is the North Grove? What is the North Grove? Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools, and it's better kept that way. You haven't told anyone else, have you? No. Nope. This is important, Garrett. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. Okay. <clears throat> Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll be strong. I know you will. I feel like I'm being too silent again. For fuck's sake. Come on. Right. So I'm now going to the wall, which is. Garrett, wait! I thought you had to go to bed. Ne that physics up. Necklace, take, okay? Be safe. Now I am going to join an army mainly made up of rapists and thieves. Why? Because why the fuck not? Ethan! Cool, that's one big tree, I must say. Ethan! Find him. Could you? Hmm. He 
hides too well. And if he was smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's you just forgotten me. this is a game. You found me. Well done, Ryan. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. Oh, Jesus Christ. I wish I Mira was here. Heard that and Asher. Way. And... And Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. <sighs> Definitely not safe. I don't safe. want Gerard to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Garrett. He was nice. Garrett is, Garrett is strong. He can take care of himself. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Roiland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Roiland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? And he calls you a milksop. I don't so care what Roiland he said. forgets himself. After all, you are the lord of the house now. I don't care what he says. I can protect you. What does milksop mean? I don't know. But I know it's not good. Ethan, you Great should let Sir Roiland teach you how to wield a sword. Like... like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. Do you remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Hmm. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so <laughs> much fun. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the Lord in training, and he never smiled anymore. And Asher, Asher just got angry at everything. What did Asher do? Cause I'm... Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. I know a lord has many responsibilities, uh, I don't, but you I don't, don't want need to, to be like them. No, I promise I won't change. I promise I won't change. Good, because I'd rather have a brother than a lord. I'll have to have both, I'm afraid. But since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Not quite anything. Everyone but... will have to do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. If only it was that simple. Um, it would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. Sorry to ruin your childhood, Ethan will but... be a good lord. A proper lord. That's not how it works. Well, that's how it should work. You are the lord. Lord Ethan, you're needed in the Great Hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. Okay. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived, unannounced and certainly unexpected. Whitehill. He's come demanding justice. <laughs> Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay mm. with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. Yeah, we really should. It's your should. decision. You are the Lord. Fine. If that's what's required of me. Very well, then. I'm not changing, just putting more priorities. Okay, let, let's go. Are those bolts? They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here. Your business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong, so don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive and firm. 
Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not Gladly. do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. I can, I can handle, handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men roll over. Hmm. Well said. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or Thank my you. house, but to his family it's it still a loss. Thank you, Lord Whitehill. <laughs> oh, you fat My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I've been waiting for this day all my life. The Foresters Don't finally get their down. due. I may be young, but I'm not so easily fooled. You're trying to rile me, but it won't work. Young? You are that boy. Too young to know when you're in over your head. And no bread and salt! What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Fetch Lord Whitehill some bread and salt. It was an oversight, Lord Whitehill. I promise it won't happen again. Not likely. You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Lord Ethan, uh, you're losing that's control of this. That's enough, Lord Whitehill. I'm not finished. Maybe yes, if you, you hadn't are. been so fucking greedy with the ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Ah, oh, great. Here's the cunt that slaughtered the garage. Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business, keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said, when your man attacked us for no reason. You're gonna give yeah. him that crap. Attack? You murdered for his no family. No reason. No reason? You murdered his family. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. Which just shows how, how you pathetic answer your for men your are. squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. Had you answer for your we men? We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. The soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with he him? He was sent to he the wall. He was sent to the wall. Who the fuck sent him to the wall? Answer me! Who's the one who did it? You heard, you heard me. <laughs> he was sent to the wall. It's done. What? That was my justice to deliver, boy. And you denied me of it. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roos Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Um... Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? <laughs> I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this... this is not over! It's over when my son says it is. I've heard enough. I've heard enough, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. That lad... May be lord of this house. But Lord Bolton will have the final say. Oh, I'll send him a lord raven Bolton. letting him know a forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. Yeah, whatever you say, you are slicker. Uh, do as, do you, like. as you like, Lord Whitehill. Oh, 
he's not happy. I was wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. Words. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Your sister Another can help nice us. Painting. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. Mira Forrester, and Red Lady Marjorie's King's betrothal Landing. to the King may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. So she's only a handmaiden, but uh, Marjorie, okay. Ironwood box. Let's see what's in here. What's this? It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. What is it? It once belonged to Lady Elena. Nope. Should probably censor that. Carved iron wood tree. Ethan made this for me. Ethan made that? Wow, that's actually pretty impressive. A Yunkish coin. I don't know if that's how Asher sent it. me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. Hmm. Unfinished letter. Read. Father. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. Mm. I do wish you and Mother could come, although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. Oh dear. I suppose word has it reached you or has it? Who knows? Bowl of fruit. That's the old. Hmm. Wonders made by man, by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. Hmm. I hope to see them all someday. Uh, not gonna happen, unfortunately. King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. Hmm. Well, what can we look at now? Less from Mother, okay? It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope, and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Oh, who's that knocking on the door? Jesus Christ. One moment. Sorry, it's this computer. It's the fan's going off a little bit. Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. No, no, no. Come on in now. No, it's fine. Come in. Begging your pardon, my lady, but are you all right? If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm worried. I'm just worried about my family. Ah, letter from home, is it? It's you kind of you to ask. ask. Of course, my lady. You've always been kind to me. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. You work for Lady Marjorie? Yes, that is correct. I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. I'm her handmaiden. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? They appear to be having some sort of disagreement. Oh, I couldn't about? hear much, but it was definitely what an idea. Say? What did they say? I couldn't make out much, but I know they were talking about the Starks and, and House Forrester. House Forrester? Oh, for God's sake. Oh, 
hope you're not in any kind of trouble. But I thought you ought to know. Yeah, thank you. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing, with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Good night, my lady. Ah, oh dear. Ah, oh, Marjorie. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, okay. there's something we must discuss. From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. Mm. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. You're very kind, my lady. Of course, Mira. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must okay. understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. Oh, what did she say? She mentioned the Northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. A traitor. She was yeah, very she pleased would. with herself. Her face was respond? full of mirth as she said it. Well, how did you respond? I told her you are one of my most trusted handmaidens, that you can hardly be blamed for the actions of your father and brother. Nonetheless, she demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with what the wedding so near. What do I say? Find a way to appease her. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. Uh, really? See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. Okay. Mm. King's Guard. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Okay. I Good don't luck. Know what I'm gonna do? Oh, okay. Right. Now I've gotta talk to Cersei, aka oh, fucked her brother. Oh, and there's Tyrion. You can do this. Okay. I see a bunch of peasants, I believe. <laughs> Another floating sword. <laughs> ah, Lady Marjorie. Aren't you looking lovely this evening? Lord Tyrion. Your Grace? With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Uh, kneel before her. Might as well. Your Grace. The Queen is The girl pleased. knows her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the King. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Uh, is your um... family loyal to the King? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. To the, the girl one can true speak king. for her house. Yes, Your Grace. To the one true king. The so one the true one. king. Yet she didn't say which. The girl is clever. She only meant. I don't care what she meant. I care what she said. 
I won't stand for impertinence from a girl of the North. If you would give her the chance to explain... Perhaps she can explain why the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark for centuries. A house of traitors. <laughs> now you say that now. Uh, they were not traitors. They are noble, not traitors, Your Grace. Noble? Perhaps once. For a northern house. But now, now they're merely dead. Is your no, house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roos Bolton? Um, he is, the, he new is the warden of the north, your grace. He is. And I the queen regent, and Tyrion the master of coin. The girl has a remarkable talent for answering questions, while in fact saying nothing at all. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned, but now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships okay. and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. No, his army. I'm told will need there that. are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. Uh, many desire. Our talent is unrivaled, Your Grace. Forrester Ironwood is highly sought after in the Seven Kingdoms. So I'm told. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Yep. Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Uh, there are limits. There are limits, Your Grace. Perhaps, but not if your house faces potential ruin. Mm. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the wall? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption the that he King. would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? Um, she only follows her heart. She was just following her heart, Your Grace. And the very same heart so quickly led her to my son. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. <laughs> Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. Mm. You are a girl from the north here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? Oh, that's... I'm sure she Let would... Let the girl answer the question. Go on. I must choose Marjorie, Your Grace. I serve at her pleasure. Clearly your handmaiden does not have her priorities straight. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. She's headstrong, isn't she? Not surprising, I suppose, for a northern girl. But not very encouraging either. And I should care because? I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. Oh, did I, did I do something wrong? I'll walk you out. All I did was speak the this truth. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't trust Drew's Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. Mm. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. I've been recording Thank you, Lord Tyrion. Hour, really? That's very kind of you Jesus. to say. You were brave to declare your loyalty to Lady Marjorie. No doubt she was pleased, but Cersei, she will not soon forget what you said. It was uh, quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all I wasn't highly trying to please Cersei. I wasn't trying to please her. 
I think that was clear to everyone. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must for find it, our amusements where we can. Yeah, for instance... Her she threatened to, to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood. And I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. You can help my family. I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure ironwood from House Forrester. Mm. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? Um. It may be far too dangerous. It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. You are a brave girl, aren't you? Mm. I'll consider it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. I hope we meet again. Nothing would make Cersei happier. Until then, be careful. This is not the North. Hmm. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Okay, so we might be able to get help from Tyrion, which actually think about may not please the house. Well, shit. Mira, I was worried. How was it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It's more than a little intimidating. I'd rather not discuss it, if you don't mind. Of course not. It must have been horrible. But at least it's over now. Mm. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back, here with the fourth cousins and the ninth-born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie, I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah, <laughs> what? It's true. And Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper. Do you just want to not? I'm told he has a paramount. Put it back. Put it back. We're just having a bit of fun. It's probably for the best. I've heard he's a bit perverse. Perhaps Lady Marjorie could make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Mm. Although, marrying a king? I can only imagine what that would be like. Would you marry Joffrey? If it meant you'd become queen. No, definitely not. He does not. have a certain look about him. And he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. Not I'd Joffrey. be willing to marry, but not Joffrey. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might uh... even allow you to be my handmaiden. Yeah, but not Let's Joffrey. Let's see, who else should we marry off? Brian of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match. Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? Oh, <laughs> Jesus, she's going to be pissed. Well? I tried to move them back, my lady. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The Queen was rather disappointed by your display, Mira. And that's a problem. I'm just glad it's over. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am Queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? Uh, yes. Once you are queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. You learn very quickly. 
Your words to Cersei were brave, but I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. Yeah, I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. Uh, ask for help. I... I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. Okay. It's about my family. I trust her. Well, uh, uh, again, so may stay. Go on. Um. Ask. My mother needs our help. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. What would you have me do? My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She thought, if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the Crown. I know it's a lot to ask of you, and I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. You that is no you. small request, especially now. I know, my lady, and I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise. But my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene? Mm. Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady. King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. I'll be in your debt. I will forever be in your debt. My family will forever be in your debt. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out. Mm. You're adored by the king. Don't let the queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. Oh dear, might have been too much to ask for, but... Uh... Let's see. King's Road, Wolfswood. Probably would have been better to ride the horse to Fucking hell, <laughs> oh well there goes our our horse and probably our food with it. Seven hells. I love me. I am loyal to the father. I am loyal to have both of me. No. 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 Stop, no, please, no. Stop, no. Let's play a little game. Shall we? Oh, Ramsay Snow. Oh, fuck it. Did you know me. my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat? Jesus Christ. <gasps> Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have fallen out of practice. But he didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody noise. <laughs> Like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father was the Warden of the North. He does now. How much further is it to these foresters? Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? Ah, oh, good lord. Shh, listen. Stay quiet, now just stay quiet. There. You fucking idiot, well done. Hear that? 
I know I heard something. Run. Wait, did I seriously avoid that? Jesus Christ. Oh, we back at Iron Wrath. Yep. Lord Ethan! As I was saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Nice. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise, and courageous in battle. And what will they call me? That is for you to define as the new lord. Okay. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Who's the Lord Sentinel before? Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move! <coughs> Summon the Lord! We need his judgment. Yeah, I've already made this choice before. I've done nothing so wrong! I was again. only trying to survive! <laughs> Lord uh... Ethan! Maester. Who is this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! We all fucking know it! Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. You stole from us. I feared for my life. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I've a family to feed. And not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor it doesn't matter. You stole it. weapons. Lord Ethan... I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Most of us won't even live to see it. We are in this together. You say that, but it won't be you who starve in come winter. <clears throat> You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan. You must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. He's a thief. You can send him to the war. I will decide. Take his fingers! He's a thief! If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Please. Okay, sure, right, okay, my lord, so. Show him mercy. Depends on Not me. gonna happen. He stole from us. Stole weapons. Which we could have used to give to more soldiers, so. Nope. I'm not showing him mercy. Send him to the wall or take three fingers. That's hard, because I did promise uh, Talia that I would not change. Which will probably mean show mercy, but no. I'm not showing him mercy. Uh, send him to the wall. That's kind of what he wants. He says he wants to flee, so... Or he say says that we should all flee. So, I'm going to take three fingers. I, Ethan of House Forrester, Lord of Ironrath, name you a thief. The price for your crime. It's three of your fingers. No! Please, my lord! My lord, please! Please, no! 
<laughs> My lord, normally it is the Lord's duty to carry out the sentence. But I am willing to carry it out. I'll do, do not I'll feel do. ready. I will carry out the sentence. This is injustice, my lord! Your house will remember this judgment. Ah, oh, Talia's not going to be happy about that. That was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. Exactly. Not just yourself, of course. It can weigh on any lord. It's a lord's duty, so I did it. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom. Who do you think I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this bracer upon your chosen sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your sentinel will wear this for all to see. Thank you for your counsel, Maester. It is my duty. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Okay, well this is... Hmm. Well, this is going to be an interesting choice. Hmm. No, I'm not going to talk to him yet. Um, Bracer, okay. Ironwood Shield. Oh, well, that, that was interesting. Let's talk to Ryan. I, he's probably not going to be happy about what Careful! Keep at it and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan. Look at this. All good swords have a name. I call mine Two Brothers. I carved this to give me strength. And this, so I remember. I mean, I could never forget. But, oh, you know, don't you? You honour Roderick with this. He was a strong one. He was. Mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Someday I'll have a real one. But not like that one. Only a lord could have that sword. You'll have a good sword. I'm sure of it. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. Mm. Was he our enemy? A bad man? Everyone keeps talking about them. Enemies. Uh, I must enforce Talia told rules. me what it means. Rules mean nothing if we don't enforce them. It doesn't matter if he's good or bad. You can't steal. That's a rule. Well, I say he was bad. Bad men killed Father and Roderick. They need someone to hurt them back. Even worse. I want a real sword. No one's afraid of wood. I'll find the men who took Roderick someday, and I'll make sure I have a real sword when I do. Oh, that'll be interesting. Um, well, this is interesting. Okay. Through uh, Duncan. Slash right. That means now. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. No, it's nothing. I just need to walk and clear my head. Oh dear. Um. 
give Bracer to. No, 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 I should do that in the council. Slash and parry! Slash and parry! Again! I can't all talk to Talia? Okay. Malcolm. Let's talk to Malcolm. Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. Oh, Uncle I Malcolm. saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do, dealing out a harsh punishment, no matter how warranted. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. At first light. Uh, where are you going? Where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? Oh. She has asked me to return with him, to help the house. He said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, but I'll be of no help to you, in Essos. But she insisted. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. Mm. But you know that just as well. She's my mother. Of course I'll be gentle. I know you will. You're good-hearted, my lord. That is your true strength. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. Sir Royland, okay. It'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Aye, Sir Royland is the man you want. You're right. Sir Royland seems the man for the job. We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan mm. would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Thank you, Uncle. You've Ethan, I now. need to talk to you. Uh, yeah, she's not going to be happy. She's definitely not happy. Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. The way you punished him? How could you be so cruel? I'm worried about you. What am I supposed to think? I did what I had to. I had no choice. You always have choices. You mm. promised me you wouldn't change, and I believed you. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrod being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. Well, I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Tell me. I... Mm. I wish Father were here. We all do, but Father is gone. You are the Lord of this house, which is why you must be strong. You're just as capable as Asher or Roderick ever were. I know it. Okay. I only wish you did too. You've always given me good advice. Thank you. Yep. And there she goes. Right. Uh, so Royland. Sword up! Swing left! Sorry! Wrong! I didn't know Sir dogs could hold swords. A word. Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's good you came to me. I know this house, and everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins. Or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man you need. And might I remind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrett to the wall. Mm. He undermined your authority and made you look weak to the White Hills. I would never do that to you. And if you pardon me saying so, I think your father would be proud. Seeing you make good choices as a young lord. Duncan Tuttle is a good man. Aye, a fine man. Why is he? 
but he has no business being sentinel. He likes to talk, but now's the time for action. True. So, when will you declare your decision, my lord? Tonight, at the small council meeting. Very good. I trust your judgment, my lord. Okay. Uh... I was wondering if he can actually teach me, but nope. Oh well. Uh, let's let's talk to the maester. Maester. Now, when I tendon. say parry, get that sword out. Maester. Yes, Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number of people. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? Yes. Yes, I am. Yes, maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. Okay. I think I'm going to name uh, Sir Royland uh, Sentinel. You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel. But I have made my decision. <laughs> Let's see. Sir Royland. Or Duncan. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna go with Sir Royland. Sir Royland de Gore, you will be my sentinel. Gods be praised. You've done well, Lord Ethan. You won't regret this. A poor choice, my lord. Forgive me for saying so, but it's true. Now, Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? My scouts say he's a day's ride away. We've no time to waste. He'll arrive before any of our allies could be here. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. There's no need to panic. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Quiet, Tuttle. You're not the Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the small council, is it not? Lord Ethan should Stop hear from bickering. all of us. Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Put every man who can hold a spear or crossbow on the wall and make the bastard fill his boots with piss. He would see it for the empty gesture that it is and have us flayed. We must take a measured approach, my lord. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf, but we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust oh, Mira's judgment. Do I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. Mother, what do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Oh. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah. The wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! Hmm. We will, uh, use diplomacy. We will fight. Oh, this is so hard. Fuck. Oh, dear. Um. 
I would say bargain, but the way the maesters put it, I... Hmm... <laughs> that face, though. Oh! I mean, they have too much men, so we can't fight. Uh, bargain. Maester Ortengrin has swayed me. We will offer the Boltons a share of the ironwood. And we oh, will promise share. our people to harvest it, thus securing their safety. A sentinel, I must warn you. Do this, and you invite ruin upon this house. If we don't, there may be no house forester at all. If you aren't Maester ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Mm. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. We could offer him the iron wood in the courtyard. My lord, making this kind of offer outright may simply embolden Ramsay. There could be trouble, and all the house will be there to see it. Meet him in the hall. It will be more private, and he will not have an audience to play against you. Lord Ethan? In, uh, I will invite Ramsay into the Great Hall. I will meet him in the Great Hall. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? I've faithfully served this house for far too long to sit here and listen to this. Forgive me, my lord, but you are far too young to be the lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down at once. He will remember that. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. I'm you so will sorry, meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall. And we will offer the Ironwood, providing a safe future for this house. No matter what, I will stand beside you, my lord, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. There was no way we were going to survive the fight, so... My lord, you have named your sentinel, but you still seem conflicted. And no matter what, you can't be indecisive. Not if you want to help this house. Forgive me. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back? He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. You Why would you bring him back after you exiled him? He exiled himself. He has no desire to rule. Asher is volatile, but that is his strength too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said, Ethan must fight his own battles. Mm. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. Mm. You have many fine qualities, but you do not have that anger inside you. It's something we could use. I'm not like that, but I don't need to be, do I? No, but you need someone who is standing beside you. Hmm. I'm trying to do what's best for this family, what this family needs. Yeah, Ethan, I suppose we could use... let me send Malcolm yeah. to Essos. Yes, and Malcolm. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. I'll need to blur that. Fuck Thank sake. you, Ethan. 
I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. Yay. Lady Marjorie's Chambers, Red Keep, King's Landing. Strange key, what's this? Tyrell family seal. No, return the key, I'm not gonna steal. Nice. Marjorie? Oh. Mm. Lady Marjorie is still with the king, I thought you'd want to know. Thank you. Mira, look, the other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. I want to help you if there's anything I can do. Your poor family. I can't imagine how you must feel. You're sweet to offer, Sarah. Thank you. Lady Marjorie is always saying how important friends and allies are in King's Landing. Just know, I will be here for you if you ever... She doesn't look too pleased. My lady, happened? I'll leave you to talk. Are you all right, my lady? She's not pleased. The at king all. was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. God. Oh dear. He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. He wouldn't even speak to me when I left him. I'm so sorry, my lady. I should never have asked you for the King's help. Understand, it was my mother's plan, not mine. I just hope you can find some way to forgive me. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. <sighs> Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now... Now, we must both be cautious. Mm. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. My lady. Begging your pardon, my lady. I hope I didn't frighten you. I'm glad to see you. Thank you, my lady. I hope you saw. I was right before, about Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know, I, I can help you if you'd like, and your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things, things that could be useful uh, for you. How can you help me, what? How can you help me? My problems can't be solved by what you might overhear. Which is why you must trust me, my lady. You need allies. Hopefully I've proven I can be useful to you. I'm sorry. I... I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... People who'd be willing to help you. A king's guard. Mm. Okay. He doesn't seem too happy. <laughs> Where the bloody hell is Duncan? He should be here. Now fuck him if he's angry. We'll do without him. 
and without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Mm. Your men are ready to act if needed. Sir Good Royland, on. I trust you'll keep a level head. Of course, my lord. Okay. But the bastard of Bolton can't be trusted to do the same. True. And there he is. Isn't this a lovely pile of timber? Not the place I'd want to be if there was a fire. Ironwood is near impervious to flame, my lord. Is he? May I introduce Lord Ramsay of House Bolton? Son of Roos Bolton. Although a bastard, Lord Ramsay has the full authority of Thank the you, Warden Lord. of the... That's enough. Who is this little boy? Is he lost? May I offer you bread and salt, Lord Ramsay? I loathe bread and salt. So I'll take that as he Aren't is. you the little lord? Lord Whitehall told me you were young, but this... Look at you. A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Ironwood. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Hmm. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Don't know what's so special about it. No one can match our skill. Is that so? <laughs> Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn... Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. Hmm. It seems the foresters have a talent for something after all. Oh shit. Oh uh, fuck's sake. Um Oh no. I d oh, I should have paused it before. Fuck's sake. Give Roos Bolton the groves, gives Ramsey the bol the groves. Ah oh, shit. There's barely any time left. Oh, fuck. oh, fuck it. Lord Ramsay, we have another gift we'd like to offer your father. There are several ironwood groves along the borders of our land, all producing tall, strong trees. We'd like to give your father two of these groves, in tribute. Give him? He is your warden. What's yours is already his. Look at that. More foresters. Lord Ramsay. Come out where I can see you. Mm. Force him to focus on the business at hand. What is it you want, Lord Ramsay? What do I want? Everything. Nothing. We'll see. First, let's see you bend the knee to my father, Lord Bolton. Go fuck yourself. Warden of the North. Words no. are wind. Refuse. Anyone no. can say I'm strength. they're loyal. I only kneel to the king. Is not the warden also deserving of your respect? But then, I am not my father. Perhaps that exactly. is what you meant to say. You see? He's a fucking traitor, just like his father and brother. Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. And I care even less about... A bunch of trees on some far-off hill. The Crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the King. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. You needn't worry. Your father will have what he needs. That's a good little lord. You can't trust a forester. They murdered our men. It was a forester squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One Bolton. Uh... Yet your man lived. He was within his right. They killed his family. His right? He killed a loyal soldier in my father's army. Then you welcomed me into your hall like a 
proper lord, hoping I wouldn't linger outside long enough to notice your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? 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 No. The no. Ironwood? But... The White Hills are nothing more than up-jump thieves! You can't do that! <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. We have loyal craftsmen who make the finest weapons. The White Hills have no such craftsmen. Do you want Ironwood for the next five years? Or the next fifty generations? The little lord does have a point. Mm. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your iron wood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. Good point. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of... 20 men within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan! They'll help maintain the king's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. White Hill men, never. It's already done. Oh, for fuck's sake. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff will lead the garrison. The seven hells he will. Lads, do make this visit. Please, Sir Roiland, don't. Look at this little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Ah, oh, twins. Well, like the Queen and her brother. Well... <laughs> Hopefully not just like the Queen and her brother. <laughs> I never had a sister. Always wanted one. Enough, Lord Snob. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord Ramsay, no. that's enough. Do you like hunting? Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. Protected your sister. Good. I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the bold lord? Oh, <laughs> oh, you no! sucker! No! What have you done? No! But I don't yes! want a bold no! lord. Oh, you absolute cunt. <laughs> Far too much trouble. Ethan! 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 My no! lord! Oh, no! I knew you'd bend the knee eventually. I think we've come to an understanding. Ethan! I certainly feel better about all this. Ethan! Oh, come on. However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Stop! Ryan! Take the boy as your ward. No! Kill him if they give you any trouble. Ryan! Oh, you, you've actually got to be kidding me. You've actually got to Lovely be kidding me. Lovely meeting all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him! Fetch the mace so quickly! You brought this on yourself. Mama! Stop! Don't let him take go. me! You will not take Stop him! Stop help me! Ryan, please! Let no. me go! No. Ryan! Do I had to be so deathless, deathless as well. Oh, my son. Unbelievable. Your story has begun. Next time on Game of Thrones. Jesus Christ. Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you flat out refused. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. 
There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. Oh, the wall. Jon Snow! Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Ooh, until Ryan is home again. Our that house actually? will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? Holy Jesus. Okay, let's see. Episode 1, Iron from Ice. You and 65.8% uh, stayed with Bowen. Okay. Uh, you and 37.6% swore loyalty to Marjorie. Uh, okay, that's interesting. You and 16.1% took Eric's fingers. What? I, I come off. Oh, fuck's sake. Um, you and 30.9% picked Royal in Descent. Really? I thought it was the best choice. Uh, you and 50.1% met Ramsay in the Great Hall. Okay, he doesn't have a beard there. Eh. Continue. <sighs> Jesus Christ. That ending, though. Oh, there's now only four characters left. Uh, Jesus. Wait, why do we have Roderick, Roderick in the background? Eh, who knows? Anyway, yeah, uh, this will be the end of this episode. Um, next time, we will be playing episode two. I am the sword in the darkness. I am the watch on the wall. Jon Snow. Okay, well, hopefully the... Episode 1 was actually really interesting, so, yeah. Okay, right, I'm going to end it here. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. Uh, subscribe for more videos on my channel. Uh, I won't just be doing Game of Thrones, I will be doing other games. Uh, I should have um, Phantom Forces up and ready soon. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later.